Yo, what is up you guys? It's Corey or the Comeback Kid here back at again with another commentary for you guys today And today I'm gonna be telling you guys a life story So the life story for today is actually gonna be about the time I got cock blocked terribly and This actually happened last week. It was during my senior week or my beach week as some people say So anyways, let's get right down on into it So senior week is basically just a bunch of your friends getting together going to the beach where, well, that's where we go to. Some people may go to, like, a lake or something like that. But we go to the beach, and we just get a bunch of our friends, rent a bunch of condos at the beach, basically just get turned out of our minds and have just a blast. So this is on the second or third night of beach week. I decided to myself that day, like, when I woke up, I was like, today is the day I'm going to be getting with, like, one of the better girls in our grade, like, one of the hotter, like, one of the hottest ones. So I get to that point in the day where I... It's about to be like 9 o'clock, so I'm like, all right, let's head out to the parties. Let's start going around. So I would say I saw the girl who I actually did end up hooking up with, but I'll get to that later in a second. I saw her around, I would say, midnight. So me and her uh, just started talking at the party. We're chilling, just having a normal conversation. So I just say, just to take a chance, it's beach week. Grow some grow some fucking hair on your balls, and let's ask her to go to the beach. So basically, at Beach Week, asking a girl to go to the beach is like, yo, let's hook up. Like, I want to hook up with you. So we go to the beach, and it's like a five-minute walk from the party we're at. So we walk to the beach, and we go up onto a lifeguard chair. We're just on the lifeguard chair. We're chilling. We're having a good time, having a nice conversation. And then we just start hooking up and that stuff, start making out, all that stuff. So prior to us actually getting to the beach, I text my group chat with a bunch of my friends who are in my house that we only had one bedroom let me remind you this we only had one bedroom in the house so i had to say you know i'm having the room tonight i have one of the hotter girls here so let me get the room you guys can go wherever you want i don't care just let me have the room tonight everyone agreed except for one of them and i was just guessing he didn't look at his phone because everyone else agreed he agreed too so i say to the girl i'm with i'm like yo let's let's go back to my room you fine with that she says yes so I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm about to fuck this bitch. I'm about to fuck her. <laughs> so then when I bring her back to my room, so I open up the door. And as soon as I open up the door, our bedroom was immediate to our right. So I immediately turn right, open up the bedroom door. I don't see anyone in the bed. No one's there. I'm like, all right, bet. This is such a size for me. Go About to go to lay in the bed. All of a sudden, I see my friend just cooling in the bed, literally passed out asleep so i try to wake him up right so as i'm trying to wake him up all of a sudden he wakes up like dramatically right he goes like whoa, whoa, whoa. so then i'm like yo dude are you are you okay like i'm not sure if he's fine or not so apparently he got sick that night so instead of sleeping on the couch where we said if you get sick you had to sleep on the couch not in the bed because the bed is specifically for hooking up only we made that a rule only hookups happen in there I mean, you could sleep in the bed if it's like 4 a.m. No one brought back a girl. So he says to me, I'm, I'm not getting out of this bed. I was like, dude, why, why are you cock blocking me right now? Like, and th let me remind you, this is literally one of my best friends. He's still obviously one of my best friends. But I was like, dude, get out of here. Seriously. He's like, I'm about to fight you. I was like, what? All of a sudden, he swings like that at me. Literally just goes like that. I'm like, oh, shit. And I backed up. And then he tries swinging at me like three or four more times. I'm like, dude, just take the fucking bed. I'm going back to the fucking beach. And so I just slam the door on him. And I tell the girl, I'm like, yo, he's not feeling too well. Let's just go back to the beach. And she was like, all right, whatever. So we go back to the lifeguard chair, just start hooking up more. Nothing else happened besides making out, which really just pisses me off. I start walking her home around like 1.32. And then once I drop her off at her house and I'm walking back to my house, I would say I'm two minutes away from my house. I'm like, all right, let me just pull out my phone and see if I have any texts. I look at my phone. He texts me saying literally 10 minutes after, I mean, sorry, 10 minutes prior to me dropping her off. Yeah, you can have the room now. I'm sleeping on the floor. My bad. Bruh. I was honestly borderline about to kill him. We woke up the next morning. He was like, dude. I am so fucking sorry I did that to you. So now I basically have a free pass to cock block him whenever I want. And that's the story about my friend trying to absolutely fucking beat the shit out of me for waking him up. Uh, for when he shouldn't have been sleeping in the bed. Which was meant for me that night. Um, so I basically hate him now. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy today's story. I thought it was a rather funny one. I got a few more from Beach Week. 
Uh, it was a rather funny time. So, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and go down into the description down below and check out all the stuff down there. You can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter's down there, as well as add me on Snapchat. And then soon I'll have an Instagram and a Facebook down there. So feel free to just go check those out. Anyways, it's been your boy Comeback here or Corey, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.